Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Um, if you are one of my regular viewers, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. So today I'm just gonna do a nail art tutorial and it's like you saw at the start of the video, it's unicorns, rainbows and clouds. So we've been having such great weather recently and um, I just thought I would do something nice and pastely and cute. So now that I'm back to my normal um, upload schedule of Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays, I'll be back on Wednesday with an acrylic nail tutorial. But to get back to this video, so I started off with just five white nails, which I've cut and shaped to size. And I'm going in with my canny gel paints and I'm going to do an ombre on all of the nails. For the sake of the video, though, I'm only going to show the ombre on one of the nails just to keep the video down for you guys. To do the ombre, I'm using my Born Pretty ombre brush. I love this little brush for doing ombres. It makes it really, really easy. And I'm basically starting in the center of the color that I want to ombre, and then I'm just patting it down to the other color, and I'll continue right to the end of that color to make sure that the ombre is seamless. So I'm going on to the second coat now, and again, I'll only show one of the nails being done just to keep the length of the video done. So back in again to ombre in. Um, you can see I'm putting the colours on just a little bit heavier than the first time. And this is where we'll get to see the colour better. As always, if you've watched a few of my other videos, you will know that I always prefer to do my nail art on a matte surface. So I have went in with Halo Matte um, Top Coat. So on the first finger, I'm going in and I'm doing a sun. So it'll be a sun with its sun rays. And I'm just using the Canny Yellow Paint. I can't remember the number of it, but I will put it in the description box for you guys. Onto what would be the pointer finger or the index finger and the little finger, I'm going to do a rainbow. So I'm starting off with the red, then I'll do the, the orange and yellow and so on. So to do these, I'm just, I've mixed some of the red with just some white. And as you can see in the little stamping plate there, the bright orange I've actually mixed with some white as well, just to make them um, more pastel colours because this, this is a nice little cute pastel -y nail art set. And again in with the matte top coat and now on the fingers with the rainbow I've taken one of the little disposable um I think they're the disposable like micro applicators and um, you would use them for doing eyelashes and stuff like that but I was using that just to do little fluffy cards above the, the rainbows. 
So onto the middle finger and this is going to be a fluffy cloud. Now for me to get the shape of this fluffy cloud, I have to put a triangle. I've tried to do it freehand and it's doesn't work. It's crap. So for me to get that shape visually, I need to put a triangle in. I don't know why, but for some reason, that's the only way it works for me. So I'm just going to fill it all in white and then I will do the matte top coat. I mean, when you see it actually done on the nail, you can see that it's not, it actually isn't that hard. It's not even like a, a weird shape, but for some reason, my brain does not compute, compute that shape. I have complete brain blank. So moving on to the ring finger, and this is going to be our unicorn. So I'm drawing out the face area and I'm going to fill that all in with white and then I will cure it and put my matte top coat on. I'm now going to go in and I'm going to start doing some of the detailing um, of the unicorn. So as you can see at the top, I'm attempting to do the ears. Um, so this is the second try. You can see that I wiped the first one out and now I'm doing the unicorn's horn. So I'm going in with the pink um, to do the inside of the ears and I'll also use this same pink to do the pink lines on the horn. Um, this one is actually from Model 1s and it's their solid cream um, colours. They're UV, although if you do use them in um, like small, small amounts, they do cure in an LED lamp. But if you were to cover a full nail surface with them, you would need to do a, a UV light because I have tried it and it just wiped off. Back to the fluffy Clyde and I'm getting in with model one's blue and uh, it's again it's their solid cream and I'm just out out a little, little, outlining that Clyde and then I'm going to blend it down into the white. Now to give the Clyde a happy smiley face I'm getting in with just my black nail art gel and I'm just doing, the eyes are closed so we can see the eyelashes and she'll have eyebrows, rosy cheeks, everything. To do the rosy cheeks, I've just went back in with that Model 1's pink and the little applicator brush. Now we're back on to our little unicorn and I'm going to do the mouth area of the unicorn and I'm using a beige from Canny. I mixed it with a little bit of white just to um, make it a little bit lighter because it was much darker than this. And then I'll go in and start to detail the mouth when it's cured. Onto the eyes of our unicorn and she's got a nice little flick to her eyes and now I'm going in and she's got really really big round blue eyes so I'm trying to make these eyes as big and round as possible. In with the Model 1's blue again and we're just going to do the centre of the eyes and then I'll go back in with the black and a little white to do the light spot on the eyes.
I am flash curing um, most of the stages in between for five seconds because it's an LED um, like gel paint. You can cure it for, for five seconds and it won't go anywhere. Um, and that way, if you do make a mistake like I normally do loads of times, you can wipe it off and it's not going to take away any of the work that you are happy with. onto her little mouth and her nose um, I obviously give her a nice big smile and she's got two little nostrils and now I'm going to go in with the rest of the um, the black gel paint and I'm just going to outline her face and just do most of the outlining work before we move on and add any more colour. Now to give her her beautiful mane, I'm going in with various different colours from Canny, Model Ones and Brillbird. Once I have cured the colours of her mane, I'm now going to go in with some of the black gel paint and I'm just going to outline that just to give it more definition. I decided to give her a little heart necklace and I'm going to finish her off with doing some eyelashes because she's got such beautiful eyes she needs some eyelashes. Back to the first nail and my little son, I'm going to go in and give her a smiley face and some nice rosy cheeks and then I'm going to finish the nails off by giving them an outline in black.
when I looked at the nails and I looked at the um, all the other parts that have been outlined in black, I decided to go in and outline each colour of the rainbow. And then when I looked at it, it was like, no, that doesn't look good. So I've wiped it all off and just kept the actual out, outer frame black. So I'm now going in with my matte top coat and that is the nails finished so here they are i hope you've enjoyed it and uh, something a little bit different for a change and i will be back on wednesday with an acrylic nail tutorial and i will see you all then bye